Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I vlog daily to provide you with recent updates on Russian war in Ukraine. I believe we will win and I want you to witness that through my videos. If you're new to the channel, subscribe because the world needs to know more about Ukraine. And today I want to speak about a quite controversial topic that is the son of Russian propagandist Solovyov, but I will not focus on him and his personality, but more on this totally distorted reality in Russia and how propagandists and Russian oligarchy and President Putin deceive miserable Russian society. So first of all, Russia is an authoritarian state where propaganda plays an extremely important role. And it is present everywhere, on TV, in newspapers, on internet. It is present both in the form of censorship and in the form of various fake news and images that are created. Before the start of this war, I was very far away from Russian media field. I did not watch their TV shows, concerts, and I don't know their celebrities, and I'm really happy about that. But uh, you have to know the face of your enemy, and with the start of this war, I have introduced myself to their top propagandists. They have lots of subscribers on social media, they have different TV shows, and they are super celebrities in Russia. So people who are extremely biased, people who spread stupid, uh, crazy propaganda messages that, like, when you check them, they lose all the arguments within a second, but these people are super popular in Russian media. <clears throat> and this is, for example, Skobieva and Solovyov. Solovyov is very aggressive and he was one of the best and strongest supporters of uh, war in Ukraine and he wanted to punish Ukraine, he denied the fact of existence of Ukraine and I very much like to observe the evolution of his messages. It all started with like in three days there will be no Ukraine with what the hell is going on and more mobilization and so on. Recently, he appeared once again on my Facebook and maybe on your uh, news feeds because of a scandal. A foreign journalist uh, published an article with uh, photos of his son, 34-year-old Daniel or something, who works as a model uh, in uh, London. And um, it was like a huge scandal because his image is contrary to what Solovyov speaks about daily in his uh, addresses to the Russian nation. Well, first of all, Solovyov is one of the greatest supporters of the Ruski Mir doctrine, but only on the words, which is important, because many of them have their villas uh, in Italy, in uh, uh, France. Uh, they like living Western lifestyle, but at the same time they condemn this Western lifestyle in each of their sentences. So Solovyov is a great supporter of Ruski Mir Dokrtrin, where he says that the uh, West is rotting because of various LGBT communities and so on, and his son is an active supporter of that community. And uh, in Ukraine, we are like tolerant, we try to learn, to understand how diverse this word is in Russia. Uh, they try to build this border and to say that like well uh, only Ruski Mir will save the planet because like the planet is lost and here it looks like Solovyov's son is also lost. Another problem is that uh, we all see that uh, Russia is not the second strongest army in the world but the second strong strongest army in Ukraine and they have problems with mobilization and they have this second wave and they will have more because they need more people to come and die in Ukraine. And at the moment they don't take uh, these newcomers to army, only those who serve on contract. And Solovyov, realizing that there is not enough people, uh, starts saying that like all these young boys who were taken to army a month ago want to go in Ukraine because that is a possibility to train. They tell us they want to join their uh, fathers. They want to fight against the Ukrainian Nazis. And he is a huge supporter of this like total mobilization of unprepared people and sending them to death in Ukraine. And uh, his son is a citizen of uh, uh, Russia and he's 34. It's like perfect age for him to come 
to Ukraine and to spend some time in Ukrainian ground. But it looks like uh, the standards for Solovyov are different. When it all became known, he started denying that definitely these are not the photos of his son wearing uh, female clothes with really long nails, that uh, his son is not in London, though he is, and uh, perhaps he did not answer anything about why his son is not mobilized if he's so much into mobilization of Russian people and Russian young men and uh, their mm, visit, <laughs> very like short visit to Ukraine. And uh, what I want to talk about more here is that uh, Russia is a totally fake uh, creation. Like starting from the Soviet Union, uh, they denied um, money, they denied private property, they were trying to demonstrate that people share everything and uh, all people have equal opportunities. But in reality, it was always different. Even back in Soviet times, it was always about this political party elite people who had uh, special houses, people who had good cars, people who were able sometimes to travel abroad, and like ordinary people. And this huge gap, this huge division continues in modern Russian society, and we all know that it is very likely that Putin is the richest person in the world. Like, I remember how many uh, journalists analyzed his, uh, like, clothes, that they are super expensive. And uh, Russians somehow do not analyze that. In Ukraine, when we see something similar, when we see, like you often ask me about corruption, of course it's present in Ukraine, same as in many other countries, but when we see something like, like super odd, when someone lives uh, in a very expensive mansion, like demonstrate this lifestyle and he does not have official costs for that, people start reacting on the local level, on the national level. With our presidents, it was the story of Yanukovych who wanted to grab much money and uh, actually like acted like mafioso. And our society always reacts. And it, from one point of view, I think we have uh, finally cured that Soviet attitude and we don't hate rich people and there are many people who want to earn money and become rich and I think it's a healthy desire if it's not like the only desire of your life. Uh, but it is normal like to want to live a better life uh, than your grandparents or your parents had. And uh, in Russia, it is still depicted like as something negative. Why do you need money? But all of their deputies, their president, uh, their ministers, they are super rich people who earn this money, not because they are smart or they are top managers or they have invented something, or they have startups, but because they steal from the country, they steal from the state, dig and uh, sell economy and like stealing money that are spent on infrastructure, gas, oil, and so on. If you take that all away, Russia is a super poor country. Think about someone of you brilliantly commented that like, we don't remember uh, any like Russian cars or Russian computers or Russian telephones that we want to buy. It's just about natural resources. It, the country does not produce anything that demands thinking, that demands creation. And that's a problem. They can only destroy and uh, steal. And there is a huge gap between the way uh, Russian elite oligarchs and politicians live and how Russian people live. And it's so obvious, it's so vivid. And like even the fact not only about money, but like that all of their children, including Putin's daughters, they live abroad. They don't live in Russia. They have their businesses abroad. Like, how can you explain it? Like, I cannot imagine a Ukrainian president having his children, not like, not like study or travel, that's normal, but like living abroad. It's, even if you like, I imagine that if my father were president and he's, he became a president and I would live abroad at that moment, I would definitely return to like support his image. That's an obligation, that's a duty. And all of these propagandists, all of these politicians, including Putin and his so lover, or I don't know, what is she? Because I cannot imagine Putin making love, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, Kabaeva, all of them live abroad. They don't live in Russia. They don't choose to live in Murmansk. They choose to live in Paris. Why? 
So I think that uh, this Russian propaganda scandal actually demonstrates us how blind and stupid Russian society is because like they close eyes not only on war in Ukraine, hundreds and thousands of innocent people killed and they also close their eyes on uh, what happens in their own country how they are robbed humiliated and mocked because this is total disrespect and i hope that more scandals of this type to come because maybe there is like 0.1 percent of normal russian people who will start shaking the situation or maybe mobilization will start in St. Petersburg or Moscow, which are closer to uh, political centers. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, let me know uh, what do you think about this like double life in Russia? Have you noticed that things like that are present and that like many rich people abroad are actually Russians? And I know that there are lots of jokes about like uh, rich Russians because they spend money not like rich Europeans or rich Americans. They try to show off a lot. That is their problem. Once again, why? Because they did not earn this money. If you earn the money, you you kind of feel more responsibilities. And if you steal them, you spend them easily. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, go to my community tab if it's not difficult and vote what time is the best for you to have our live stream on the first year of war, Russian war in Ukraine. And I hope the last year of Russian war in Ukraine, Friday the 24th of uh, February. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for reading my article. It is also on community tab if you want to. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and introduce yourself to other videos. Thank you for buying me coffees. Thank you for becoming my patrons. Thank you for thinking, liking, loving, supporting Ukraine. Slava Ukraini!